Here we go again with another Cooler Tech video. Today's segment is going to be in the best apps of the week. Well, what do you know? It's the Cooler for show. To deliver, so get ready for some apps and game. Number one spot, this is the place to go. Android Tech, you know, doing my thing. The best of the weeks, so you know how it goes. Here on Cooler Tech, let's stop the show. And the best live wallpaper of the week, it is called Pack Droid, as you can see a little Android eating its thoughts and of course eating up the apples because you already know Android is the best. When you go into the live wallpaper settings, you're going to notice that you can change the colors of the dots and the background of the little squares and you can change the animation speed and all that stuff. So mess around with the settings and you can figure it out on your own. Alrighty, let's get it on with the best apps of the week and we'll start off with screen off and lock and a lot of you guys ask me why is there an animation like a TV off type of thing going on well that is a stock feature that comes with pure Google experience custom ROMs also incorporate this well check this out when we jump into configure there's gonna be settings in here everything's described so you know you're not gonna be lost right now I have it on random animations so I'm gonna check that off I'm gonna go into a rotate clockwise and I'm gonna preview it and that would be my animation for my phone to turn off. So when I turn my screen off, it's not doing it because it's not actually incorporating with this. So not every phone will work with it. Some screen lockers are on the very left, on the right, or on the side. Well, if you don't want to do that, well, you can click on the screen and do it. You see that? I'm going to check it back on random. The TV effect is in here. And like I said, there's tons of them in there that you can do that work pretty cool. I'm not going to go too much more into it, but this is an application for you to check out. All right, now we're gonna jump into semi-folder. I've actually reviewed this application a very long time ago and I did a whole dedication of a video on it. I actually went to an empty side of the screen just so I can show you that I can make my icons and folders invisible and I blew up the size of it and I made it look like this. I took the background off and I chose the color of the border. So, I mean, these are the apps that I'm gonna be showing. But Ultimate Phase Pro is no longer on the app market. I don't know if it's coming back or not but this is the new way I'm gonna be trying to do my videos. I might have other hidden little things up here that you'll never know, but if I click right there on the very bottom because I haven't memorized, these are for my apps. I actually have them ones for my games right there. But let's click back into it, and let's click on Send My Folder. See, folders, applications, contacts, bookmarks, so all the stuff you can add and do. I'm in folders. You can see I already added a apps of the week, and these were the apps of the week that I'm going to be showing. I have a video on it. I'll put the link where you can try it out for yourself so you can go to that one video if you want to go furthermore. Next, we have Team Battery Bar. Take a look up here. There's a little line right there. There's a little empty spot. That is my current battery status. You can actually change the color. You can change the size of it. Move it to the very bottom. You can be in any application and it'll always show on there. During any video, any game, any app, it'll always be up there so you know what the battery power is. I'm going to jump right into it. And here's like the little thing we're gonna do. Configuration, and you can see the height where you want it or the align. Check it out for yourself. Next, we have number pad keyboard. Now I'm gonna open a note. And everybody knows that I love Swift Key X keyboard. This is my favorite keyboard, I love it. But I'm not here to talk about this keyboard. I'm gonna select a new keyboard, which is called number pad keyboard. Now I'm gonna have a different keyboard pop up. And this is a paid app, so it's not free. But how many of you guys love the whole T9 style of texting on our old phones, how we used to all text? You guys remember that? Let's start typing. Hey. What are you doing tonight? I kind of messed up there. I always look through my camera screen, so I'm pretty far away and I'm trying to be accurate as I can. But if you remember this way of texting and it might be quicker for you instead of going to the QWERTY, this is going to be a really cool application. So I was thinking that we should go out tonight and hoping that you wanted to go and really do this. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just totally just typing stuff. But that is the way of texting through there. You can hold down right here and it gives us a number of keypad settings. And you can change the themes, find themes, how do you want it to look like. And here we have the button to switch between QWERTY and different numbers there. Try it for yourself. Here next we have Clip Ninja. And this is the free version and so far that I tried it works really good. Now what's this? Rate, comment, and subscribe. Best apps of the weeks. AndroidSavage.com coming soon. What is all this stuff? This application keeps track of every single thing you have text. Hey, what's up? Alright, I'm done. Back here, look at that. Hey, what's up? Every single thing that I text is going to be saved. All I got to do is hold it down on it and it'll go into the little menu thing that says, Hey, what's up? And I can actually see, you can drag it and see how long it took me to 
text all this between what times you can edit it you can copy you can share you can delete this if you, let's say you were typing up an email or a text message and all of a sudden something happened and it exited and you're like oh my god i just typed all that and it's gone fear no more because now it's going to be saved in here slide over to the right side to the left clip ninja is going to be a savior read the description when you get this application it'll tell you more than what i could tell you here next we have photo grid photo grid is an application to make a little compilation of photos before i jump into this i'm just going to show you in my gallery i don't know how well you can see it but this was a snow day at 1 30 in the morning it compiled these photos together just like that let's go into the camera and just click these pictures and you'll see on the very bottom that they're already selecting so i want to press create it's going to go into this little paper and make a little design for it and i can shake the phone it says but i rather prefer you know clicking this stuff so once you have the style down that you want go to edit and you can see that you can zoom in zoom out actually sketch you go deeply into the settings and move stuff around in the picture photos so it's pretty cool check it out for yourself and here we have software data cable this application is what i use to transfer all my files i reviewed it before but i had to bring it back because there's new features that always come with it and a lot of people still ask me how did i do that which application it is and so here it is again transfer files videos pictures whatever you can transfer from your computer to your phone or to your phone to your computer whatever you want to do it so when you open this application it's going to give you a little address to enter onto your pc that will connect these wirelessly here we see start service when i click that here's the address that i need to enter into my computer so when you click on my computer you want to enter this in the very top and it'll take you to everything what's on your sd card of your device but here's what else is cool with it now it has a file manager file manager is obviously everything on your sd card so you can go within and take stuff out edit things there's going to be lots of files in here that you might find that you don't even need make sure if you're going to delete stuff you know what you're deleting but a lot of apps and games that you download leave files behind if you want to delete them and take them off find them through here but you know watch what you delete i think you'll like this application very much so try it out here we have wiz this application is a widget and you're looking at one of them right here calendar widget background might not be the best one for it but it's a see-through and you can customize what how you want to look at it application if you click on it you might be able to get a different look out of it and this is a free version so you know you're not going to get every setting that you can change with it i just like it because it's a cool little calendar on the side but let's open up and see what there is for wiz and okay wiz comes with agendas wiz calendars we can add our facebook g readers rss feeders you know text messages timeline for twitter twitter timeline and widgets and different slider things but it's definitely something for you to check out we have meaning of dreams did you have a dream last night and wondered why you dreamt that saying whoa what does it mean why am i dreaming this well wonder no more this is an application that has the meaning of what your dream was about scroll down here we see table of contents why do we dream about our teeth falling out so click on it and it'll go right into the teeth falling out flying when you're falling in your dreams you know, people sex driving school colors aliens children nightmares i mean you can just find out what it is but definitely check it out if you're bored and wanted to know about this oops almost forgot that i have two applications that would not show up on semi folder and let me show you photo calendar photo calendar is an application that's supposed to replace your stock album i don't know how you're gonna like that but it goes into more detail exactly what days you actually took pictures in a calendar mode if i click on month it'll go into my month and i can click right here and it'll say what day monday i took those pictures saturday thursday wednesday tuesday so you can see that actually categorizes all in little sequence going on there calendar you can see in the calendar mode right here which pictures you took and everything so it's something for you to mess around with and check it out to see if you like it for yourself and here we see a power control widget and this power control widget is actually a replacement and i liked it because it has extra features that the other one does not this is a widget so you can rearrange it anywhere you want but it's not customizable right now i've reviewed some before that you can customize the power widgets here we can turn on and off our wi-fi our 3g so as our data sync you know obviously sync everything off the background so nothing turns on no applications pull any data turn on and off your tethering bluetooth and here's your gps here's a little light so you don't need an extra application to run that and here's your brightness control to turn up are down work really handy for me looks good and that is it these are the best apps of the week right off the market brought to you by me the cool loser hope you guys enjoyed the app reviews that i've done 
I've done 96 videos just like this. Go check them out. And as always, rate, comment, and subscribe to them. I started a new series as well that is called Tip It For A Minute. Check that out. If you're new to Android and want to learn little tip and tricks. And yeah, that is it. I should see you next time on Thursday for the best games of the week. Yeah. See you guys. Please rate my video and give me a thumbs up. Comment on my video and tell me what's up. Subscribe to my channel, don't forget to spread the word. Tell them who's the best, it's the Coop Loser. Follow me on Twitter, on Google+, on Facebook, so we can stay in touch.